New at 6 o'clock, the Raleigh Fire Department is debuting its new rehab unit, a truck where first responders can get water, air conditioning, or even snacks on a scene. Yep, but with the price tag of more than a quarter of a million dollars, is it worth it? CBS 17's Dina Harley is getting answers about how it is helping out the county. A big new purchase for the Raleigh Fire Department. This is our newest addition to the fleet. This new rehab unit hitting the streets this month. The truck has a bathroom, hand washing stations, heating and air conditioning where first responders can recuperate on scene, get cold or hot drinks and snacks. Keith Wilder, a battalion chief, says it'll only be deployed to certain scenes, though. Its sole purpose is to respond to uh, significant and long-term events mm -hmm. where we can provide sustainability, our responders on scene. While the department says they're fortunate to not have many significant to alarm fires. I don't have the data that would tell me how often we're doing it, um, you know, weekly, monthly, annually. But of course, as our city grows, you know, more people, more infrastructure, uh, we do begin to see you know, larger incidents. Other agencies, including Raleigh Police or Raleigh Public Works, can request the unit if they're out at a scene for an extended time. That's including water main breaks or traffic incidents. We're learning as we go. We're, we're seeing more needs that we didn't even previously identify that this truck is going to be able yeah. to provide for. The price tag, $260,000. A big number paid for by you, the taxpayer. Not cheap. Is it worth it to have this? Absolutely. It's a big chunk of taxpayer money that department leaders say will help them be more self-sufficient and not rely on other agencies. Before this, if they needed to take a break, if they needed to get water, what did they do? Well, we have uh, utilized Wake County EMS for many years and they've provided this type of resource to us. Well, outside right. of the food, what else is this offering that, that they weren't getting from EMS? A restroom on scene mm -hmm. and hygiene stations to immediately clean up before you partake of those items. At a time when departments across the country are facing hiring shortages, department leaders are hopeful the unit will incentivize people to work for them and stay working for them. We have to be able to sustain ourselves in order to sustain our ability to operate at an emergency incident. Right now, Raleigh is the only city in North Carolina with a unit like this, but department leaders did tell me that they do anticipate other departments kind of following suit and getting similar units. Only time will tell, of course, how often it is actually used. We're going to keep an eye on that because it's your tax dollars that are paying for it. In Raleigh, Dina Harley, CBS 17 News.